and welcome to another video. You must be asking yourself, what does a Tesla have to do with a DIY channel? So the truth is that we can also do things on a Tesla ourselves. Even though it's a car, or maybe I should say a computer that does not need to be taken care of that much. I took this black Tesla from a friend of mine to do some detailing and freshen up the paint. Look at those scratches all over the paint. On a black color, the polish effect should look the best. But while I was wash polishing the car, I found out that this is not the case with this Tesla. Let's see what happened. So in the Israeli climate, we can expect such a layer of dust already after several hours from the moment we washed our vehicle. In the first step, I cleaned the vehicle from this layer of dust so that I could better understand what was going on underneath. After rinsing the car, I spread it with a car shampoo mixed with water, and with a microfiber glove, I scrubbed all the hard dirt well. If you're interested in me making a full guide of washing a car, write to me in the comments, I will consider making one. After I covered everything with soap, I rinsed again all the residue from the car. Now the vehicle is clean, but before I wipe it completely, I take clay. I use this product from 3M. And what I will do is to go over the car with the clay, with water as a lubricant, and then I clean up all the deposits on the paint, the hard dirt that's stuck to the paint. Even though this car is only a year and a half old, trust me, it will be dirty. So what I'm going to do with this clay, I'll go over the paint with water as a lubricant and I go over with straight movement to remove any hard dirt that is on the paint. When the clay encounters such dirt, it will get stuck a little bit and then it will take it off. I will go over all the car, just like that, until all the surface is smooth. I will now go over the hood and I want you to see how the clay looks after going over the hood. So I hope you can see just from a small cover over the hood how dirty the clay got. And this vehicle is only a year and a half old. In order to be able to continue using the clay, I will fold it until I have only clean clay. And I will continue to go over the rest of the car. I don't think I need to say anything. Just look at the car, look at those scratches. The hood is full of scratches. The color already look hazy. It doesn't look good. And I hope with a little bit of polish, we can fix those things. So I'm about to go over the car and find some spots that I want to compare before and after the process of polishing the car. Here we can see a big scratch all over this panel. I hope to remove this out. Also, here we can see all the scratches on the hood that I hope we can at least blur a little bit. We got some scratches on the trunk as well. We can blur it a little bit. And also we have this bird poop that burned the clear coat of the paint. Unfortunately, I can't fix the clear coat, but at least I can just fix it a little bit just to blur it off. Although the BX is not as clean as the Corvette, its flat rear wing can be used as a table to show you the product I'm going to use. So I have here a double action polisher with two, kind, two types of pads and two types of polish compounds. I have a lighter one and abrasive one. I have here also my swears and scratches remover. And finally, the Manzerna power lock to preserve the result and give a protective layer to the paint. So come on, let's get started. If you want to see a full tutorial on how to polish a car, watch my last video on the C4 Corvette where I talked about the process in more detail. In this video, I won't show you the full process and I won't go in depth, I just want to show you the results. I wiped off half the hood after going over it with the abrasive polish. And you can see I was amazed that the results were not as I expected. Although you can see that the paint is currently a little more shiny compared to the other side in which the work has not been done yet, 
but the scratches remain as if I had done nothing. I actually asked my friend, tell me, what the hell happened to that hood? What are all those scratches? And he just sent me this video. <laughs> well, I guess we should keep going. I continue working with the abrasive polish on the other side of the hood. And I was just trying to keep going until I see no more scratches. Actually, after I wipe it off, I can already see that the paint look much better. Although we can still see the scratches, the paint look much healthier. So I decided to just keep going with the steps. I will keep a long story short. I continue polishing the car with the finer polish and then with the scratch remover. I was so frustrated with the results, so I started asking professional with car detailing. What is the story of Tesla's paint? They explained to me that there is a serious problem for their experience with the quality of the paint in Tesla's. With the white color, the phenomenon is less common. It is especially the black color that affected. Since this is the case, we can come across many Teslas wrapped in different colors along the world. Finally, after the polishing steps are over, we want to give a protective layer to our paint. So I take the Manzerna power lock that I showed you earlier at the beginning of the video, and using an applicator, I, I applied it evenly over the paint. After I let it dry for half an hour, I wiped it off using a clean microfiber towel with just minimal pressure being applied and it comes right off now we can see our results much clearer the paint is shiny and the reflection is perfect than ever the paint look much healthier than it was before but the scratches still remains on the hood anyway I realized that this paint was not going to be easy to work on or even possible to restore. However, I went back to the points I showed you at the beginning of the video, and we can see that they already look much better. Remember the scratch that was on the top of the pillar next to the roof? It disappeared as if it wasn't even there. The long scratch on the middle of the door also disappeared, and we were left with a very small part of it that penetrated deeper into the paint. All kinds of small scratches from opening doors on the vehicle disappeared as well. On the trunk as well, we can see that the scratches disappeared almost completely. We cannot fix the burned coat from the bird poop, but at least we tried. And the paint looks better. Unfortunately, I'm not that happy with the results. I expected something much more greater. Tell me your experience. Have you ever tried to do this with a Tesla? Did you encounter the same problem I had? Tell me in the comments. If you liked the video, share it with a friend and help it spread. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.